Hey what's up guys, my name is Tyler Rackhart and welcome back to another screencast tutorial. And in today's tutorial we will be going over a simple way to create abstract shapes in Maxon Cinema 4D. Now Cinema 4D is a 3D modeling program. Uh, it's a relatively nice program. I'm not going to say it's as good as uh, 3D Studio Max, but it is a relatively good program and a lot of people use it. And um, so let's go ahead and open that up. Alright, so this is what our basic interface looks like. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do to create our abstract shape is hold down the uh, cube and go to a torus. And this gives us this kind of cone, I mean not cone, uh, loop, kind of like a buoy. And the next thing we're going to do is go back to the same and give us a sphere. Now if we click on our torus and go to the uh, ring segments, we're just going to crank that up to about a hundred and the pipe segments crank that up to about fifty there we go and we're gonna do the same with our sphere and put the segments at about sixty now actually let's put them back at fifty that's good alright so now that we've got both our sphere and our torus we're just going to go ahead and highlight both of those right click and group objects you can also press alt G and that'll do the same and now we have a null object so right here is our um, deformers so we're in this tutorial I'm just going to be using bend and twist uh, the bend and twist deformers um, there's a lot more that you can do uh, but this is um, what we'll be doing for our tutorial so we're just going to grab a bend deformer right now and First of all, we need to open up our null object, and we're just going to drop it into the null object. Just get it there. All right, make sure it's on the bottom. What we're going to do is make sure that it's in the center. All right, and we're just going to turn the strength up, and as you can see, it bends our shapes. And we can create a 180-degree circle. I don't know, that looks a little weird, so we're just going to undo that and we'll just get it a good there and that's not going to do anything for now so we'll just put it at 50 let's go 60 degrees and now what we're going to do is get a twist deformer we're also going to drop it into uh, our workflow and we're just going to up the angle and as you can see it starts to twist I think our uh, shape and this is very it's limited that's our problem so what we need to do is either go within box or unlimited unlimited gives us this cool spiral like shape that we're getting right now um, we can up the size make it a little taller kind of get this to make it a little bit smoother um, and right now we can also I'm actually going to put a melt deformer uh, so we'll add one more deformer for this tutorial and as you can see it just completely melted it so we're just going to kind of put down the strength and just kind of mess with the controls make just kind of give it a wavy look on the shape that looks interesting all right so let's get an angle where this looks good actually I'm going to mess with this just a little bit more Actually, we'll just get rid of this melt deformer, and um, let's put on a wind deformer. Yeah, that'll look good. And that, that also gives it that wavy effect that I was looking for. But let's just mess with the settings of the wind deformer. Alright, 
And there's a very simple abstract shape. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, very simple lighting setup. So let, let's just pull that up a little. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our cube and create a plane. Now if we grab our uh, the square tool right here and click right in the middle, we can resize this plane. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. We're just going to copy and paste a couple of more planes uh, just to give it a good look. Now, what I'm going to do here is rotate um, this plane 90, uh, 110 degrees. Actually, let's rotate it 130 um, so that we get a good angle on it. And right there, all right, so what we're going to do is copy and paste another one and give it that same 130 degree rotation just uh, the, up the opposite direction and right there we've got a very simple lighting setup and in order to get this lighting setup to work because here I'll show you that if we render it out right now um, we're just not going to get anything we're going to get a couple of planes in our object uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to files, new materials, um, double click our material. We're just going to make it white and we're going to turn the luminance on 100%. Now you can tint the luminance to whatever color that you would like. Um, I'm just going to leave the luminance as white for this and we're just going to drag it onto all three planes. Now we still have a lot of effects that we need to add but if we render it out it gives it a little bit of shine uh, alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another material and this will be for our uh, for our actual shape and we're just gonna give it a color of I'd say a r darker red uh, we're gonna turn the reflection on so that we get a little bit of that white I'd say put it on around 40% and uh, specular color and uh, environment turn those on as well and just drag it onto one of our shapes and we're gonna create a new, another new material um, kind of the same on the same basis but I'll make this one blue alright actually I did that with the luminance not the color sorry Alright, and now uh, we're just going to turn out the transparency, uh, wrong, I'm hitting the wrong buttons, alright, uh, reflection, 40%, we can get over there, alright, uh, environment and specular color, put that on our shape, and if we render it out now, it gives us a shiny look, but we still you know, actually, let's turn the reflection down on that, uh, on both of our layers to about 20% because that, that was a little over-reflective. So let's render that out now. Alright, that looks better. Um, and actually, I'm going to turn the wind off for the null object. Uh, so... Let's see how that looks. And the more shapes you add, the more ge geometry there is in your project, the longer it will take to render. And uh, we're going to um, give it some better rendering. So let's put the output width 1280 by height 720. And all right, so we're just going to go to our effects panel, add an ambient occlusion with a contrast of 15 and a global illumination alright and this will actually because we added those two effects right there this will actually uh, s slow down the render time so I'm actually going to uh, stop the video here and I'll show you back when it's rendered and then we'll go over to into Photoshop and play around with some color correction so uh, let's start rendering and uh, I'll see you in a bit Alright, now that we have this rendered out, uh, this is what our shape looks like. 
We can get it from a lot of different angles, and I'm probably going to add a bad backdrop before we drop this into Photoshop. But that will be in part two because I'm running out of time for part one. Uh, make sure that'll be coming probably on Sunday. I'm not going to have time to make part two today. Uh, but anyway, this is what our shape looks like rendered out. I'll probably put a backdrop and change some angles up, so don't expect it to be exactly this angle but it will be the same shape alright guys so that's part one of this abstract shape tutorial be watching out for part two on Sunday alright thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe